Hi everyone, this is a third video in a four part tutorial that describes how this map dashboard was set up and just to um, recall how this works, it's, it works on click of a country on the map of Africa, it generates the flag of the country, the name of the country and the key statistics from the country feeding from what we have in the table to the left over here. This tutorial is focused on the mechanism driving the update to the flag on click of a different country how we get the flag to update every time we click on a different country to demonstrate this I'm just going to move over to a back-end sheet a flag sheet and in this sheet I'm going to use I'm going to walk through the steps that we're taking to set up that interactive flag there are three Excel features that come together to get this to work they are linked pictures named ranges indirect function I would talk through each of three concepts while I demonstrate how this flag sheet is getting the map to work the flag function to work so on this sheet I have the flags of 55 plus African countries and they are all set up because the flags are in box form but they are all set up neatly so that they fit into one cell at a time each flag fits into one cell and the other thing about the cell that the flag fits into is that the cell is named after the name of the country the flag is from so I have cell set up for every country Angola, Cameroon, Benin, Botswana, Ivory Coast this is how all the flags have been set up and this is a demonstration of uh, the named range feature and how we're using this to drive this dashboard the next thing after setting up the flag is that we create a linked picture Setting up a linked picture is very straightforward. You just copy a cell or a range and when you're pasting it, you select the paste as linked picture option. I'm just going to demonstrate it. So I click on the cell that has the Somalia flag. I go to home and I click copy, the copy icon. And then I go to paste, but I go to the paste options and I go to paste as linked picture. This is a linked picture setup. This is how you set up a linked picture. The next thing we're going to do is we have our linked picture, this linked picture here, and we have our named ranges, these flags over here. The indirect function is then going to help us to connect the named range to the linked picture. To do this, I'm going to create a reference cell. The indirect function takes a content of a reference cell and it returns it. We are going to create a reference cell that will have the name of a country and then we're going to use the indirect function to connect that reference cell to the named range. If I put in the name of an actual country, one of these countries that the flags are represented and the cell of the flags are being named as the name of the country. If I put in the name of one of those countries in here, I can, with this name, convert this picture to the country that is reflected here using the indirect function. To do that, I'm going to go to the option to create a new name. Create a new name. I'm just going to call this name, give it any name, just for purpose of dem demonstration. I'll call it select flag. And I'm going to name it equals to indirect this cell that has the name of another country close bracket and click ok I've created a dynamic range I'm now going to set up this link picture so that it links it connects to that dynamic range I set up and to do that I'm going to go to the formula bar and just type equals to select flag the name of the dynamic range I just created using indirect I press enter and then you can see that this flag has converted to the flag of Nigeria. Let's try it out with some other countries. I'm going to change this name to Ghana. You see that it's updated. I'm going to change it to Botswana. It updates as well. So this is the functionality driving the flag on this sheet. It is connected to this focus cell, this um, cell O35, which changes when a country is clicked. And it reads from that cell and it brings in the name range corresponding to the content of that cell. I will show you. So I'm going to click into this flag image here. It's reading from flag S. 
Plagues is a dynamic range that runs with the indirect runs on the indirect function. I'll step into it and when I step into flag S, the code, the reference of flag S, you will notice that it's slightly different from the other dynamic range I just set up and I'll explain why. So flag S. Flag S you can see indirect and then you can see O35, which is this reference. But you can also see substitutes in between it. I'm going to explain why. So the reason why we're using substitutes is because named ranges, the way they work in Excel, you, you when you're setting up a named range, you cannot use space bar. However, there are some countries in Africa that have more than one word, like Cape Verde, like Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, and separating those two words are a space bar. But when you're creating the named range, you cannot use a space bar. So in creating the named range on this sheet, particular countries that have more than one word instead of using a space bar I used an underscore to connect them so I use the substitute function to convert the underscore back to a space bar so that when the indirect function is running it converts the the reference cell to from an underscore to a space bar before it brings back the, the referenced object and how substitute works and I will demonstrate how substitute works here. To change this from South underscore Africa to South Space Africa, I use substitute this text, the old text, that is what I want to remove, and the new text. That's how it works. I have demonstrated how we, why we use a substitute function in between the indirect formula to convert the named ranges that have underscores back to the spacebar that will be reflected in this name in O35. So that's a short tutorial on how we were able to set up this interactive flag detail for this dashboard using a combination of linked pictures, named ranges and the indirect function. Thanks for watching and catch you on another video. Bye.